Stop talking to people that don't want to do what you're asking them to do. Right. Stop expecting people to read your mind, mm -hmm. right? Because you haven't even said what you need. Mm -hmm. You don't know the directions. You've never right. had an orgasm at all. Right. So now you're upset because they're not reading your mind. Well, you should just know. Oh, if you if I got if you got to ask me if I came, then I didn't. Exactly. Sometimes my orgasm is silent because I almost died. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was over right. here passing out. Exactly. Like exactly. There, stop with the stereotypes and just have a conversation. Stop being so damn condescending, and maybe you can get somewhere. Right. You know. Right. But again, we're not fucking people that we like. Exactly. Ooh. Do you? I have a question. So, like, if you're in the act and like you want something to be a certain way, and and I I'm a firm believer that you say something at the time, Absolutely. do this, do that, direct, you know, direct the person rather than waiting till it's over and you didn't have an enjoyable experience. Like, what's your advice with respect to the moment? Like, how do you make Not the most of the moment? moment. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a great question. So timing is important. So there are two techniques that I use. One, check your voice and your tone, right? Because it's like, it's another, babe, move down. Mm -hmm. That's different. Oh, baby, go lower. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's totally different. Make it sexy. And yes. Baby, go lower right there. Make them want to do it. Yeah. Yes. And, and then also tell them when they're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. And then, and not saying perform, but let yourself go. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we're embarrassed about how we look like when we're really having an orgasm. Like, that sexy shit, I know damn well that I don't look good when I'm having an orgasm. <laughs> I know I don't. I look like I didn't been taken over. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so comfortable with myself and who I'm fucking that I'm okay with that. So now I can let it out. A lot of times we're not even having orgasms because we're not even letting out anything. We're holding our breath. Y'all know how I've been Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I think that stops you from squirting yeah. too, right? It stops I a think lot that's of things. What it, is. The full, it stops the full orgasm. Mm -hmm. um, but then also the sandwich method. So a compliment. What's the sandwich? <laughs> She's like, what, what you doing? <laughs> uh, a compliment, a critique, and a compliment. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So sometimes even if you do it right afterwards, because sometimes it's just a change. Like say you're having sex with someone the first time, you don't want to be annoying and you like critiquing every single thing the entire time. Because there is a time and a place and we're going to do it again. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I hope it's round number two, right? Go get right. the Gatorade, come back. Right. So like in, the, in <laughs> between when we're talking, babe, I loved like how long you went. Mm -hmm. And you were actually really close mm -hmm. to, you know, when you were doing the, and can you do that again? Because right. like I think I could orgasm that way. But like, I just, I feel like you do it long enough that I, I can I'll definitely get, there, get right. there. So it's like, was that a compliment or not? You so, know? So do you think, both. Critique, compliment. Do you think, um, for example, when we talk more about the men's side, do you think it's important for us to, for example, if they say they like ass play, mm -hmm. is it now like we have to give back and not be judgmental and, you know, like, like what if you don't want to do that? What if a man doesn't want to do that? How do you have those kind of conversations? Well, I feel like you, I don't expect anyone to do everything that I want. Right. And I'm not going to do everything that someone wants. Okay. I do believe in compromise. Mm -hmm. I believe in substitutions. And I believe in making sure everyone's comfortable while still being honest. Right. Your sex you life has to be alive. Right. A lot of people start sex one way and they're still doing the exact same moves from when they were 16. Yep. You know what and I'm saying? Know better, That's like, still don't know better. Do you even like pussy? Right. Do you right. like dick, man? Why, why do you don't want to talk about it? Why are we okay with being uncomfortable? Right. And why are we okay with the sexiness stopping I think in people the are afraid to be judged. I think people don't want to um, be judged by somebody they like or potentially want to be with. And so they hold back because they don't want someone to think either um, you know, they're interested in another sex or, you know, a woman might not want to do things. She's like, oh, if I want a dildo in me, maybe you think I want more than one dick in me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think or that your get, dick isn't big enough. Yes. Enough. Yeah. So I think people just are afraid to be honest and open about certain things. And it can just it's just for pleasure. So I think sometimes it's important to be open and honest, you know, and not be not judge your partner and think that it's further than just what experience you're having in the bedroom. Time, like y'all really want amazing things. No. Well, my wants are different from yours. And let's start with that, which is, I. there's a statement you I need us to learn. You giving you head at the same time. No, why not? you're not even going to leave. Yeah. Me. Why but, not? But this is but the first woman it, it, that it, I've it, met. It, it, what, what I you're want, You're the first though, woman yeah. that I've met that actually has said something that I've been saying. Like, if I was to be one of these rich, famous women, just like these men have multiple women that they have these sex, you know, parties with and have multiple women stuck in doing this, whatever, engaging in each other, whatever, I personally would want a, a right city guy and a left city guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm this guy, and then a, my perfect 
penis that I would like in me at the same time. I mean, you know, but it's it's about being pampered. Pleasured and pampered. And somebody suck my toes. So look here, first of all, I'm laying back, right? I'm laying back between somebody's legs and maybe he like rubbing through my hair, like when it ain't all curled up and stuff. <laughs> but you know, rubbing through my hair, he kissing on my ear, like, you know, you like that and whatever else. Very and, sensual. And very sensual. Like and I, I want you to stroke me slow and I, I want to be able to hold you. Like I want to feel supported and feel like it's safe mm -hmm. for me to have Two, moment, and, and yeah. let me take it there, two black men in the room and I'm I safe like all day. So I'm dating a couple and I, I told the guy, like, I have a fan, you know, we were just talking about fantasies. I have a fantasy of having a threesome with two men. He's like, isn't, you know, I, I know a lot of women into that, but I just, I can't do it. But he's like, you know, my wife, like, we can strap you. Like, we can give you what you want. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not like compromise to me. It's definitely right. compromise. Like, that's compromise. It's not the end goal, but it does provide the feeling that I want to feel. And I never want to push someone's boundaries or their consent or anything, but it's so many other things that we can do mm -hmm. to still give, because the body keeps score. So the, the, ter the way that I feel, we can duplicate that or make that in another way. And the fact that you can be honest with me, I love that and say, I don't think I can enjoy myself in that situation that I don't want you to do that. Mm -hmm. But you ask me a question, I'm gonna tell you so that way you know. That way if it ever comes up again or opportunity or whatever, like I definitely have a fantasy about one of the main guys that I'm with, you know, interviewing these other guys. Like, are you gonna be able to please her? Because that's whoa, what we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel whoa, like the conversation whoa. just changed. What right happens if then. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what happens if his orgasm is cool from one way? What do you mean cool? Well, how do you know if you haven't tried it? Well, some, right. some things don't need to be experimented. Is that a no? It's a hard limit? It's, it's a hard no. All right. But but that's for I me. I you're, you're, You know, your man or whoever, you know. They might let you try it, but might, they still yeah. may be like, okay. Well, actually, I did have someone say, that felt way too fucking good. Don't ever do that shit mm. again. And I was like, really? Fair, but you know. Now they're thinking about you know, it, You know, it's some stuff that somebody has done to me, and I'm like, yo. Whoa. Like, okay, here's one. Ass orgasms are scary as hell, but mm. oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure that you, like, you can see the future. Like, it, really? it has to activate <laughs> that third eye. It has to. It has to be the key to something. I don't like, even think anything can fit in there. It, de <laughs> it do. Not even. I, it do. It do. It's like take a while to get it open. And it like. do, but also that's a that's a patience thing and it working hurt, your girl. ass that's over and hurt. like you tongue kissing. See, stop talking that over your booty hole. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, girl. <laughs> you talking that over you your booty hole. But you gotta have somebody that like doing what they doing. And it versus can't be rough. everything, be, you can't be under forty minutes talking about you about to stick something in my ass. Yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. So let's let's go back because I think we kind of glazed over the whole. <laughs> the whole glazed. What a, what a great, great word. word. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of glazed over the like the foreplay. Like, what are some things that you could tell some of our our male subscribers and like male audience or whatever, like what they can do other than just eating the pussy. For, yeah. for, for an 18 to 40 minutes, yes. like how do how do what you else arouse them? Yeah, what how else do can you we do? Okay. Before you guide the men here, I need all the men on live to like. And the women too. And the women mm -hmm. to like, but men, she's about to drop some knowledge for you on how to please your lady or the lady. So go ahead and like. I know there's hundreds of people watching right now. I need y'all all to like that. Go ahead and spit some knowledge. Okay, so I like to bring some things back, right? I like fingering. I like dry humping. Mm -hmm. I like making it. You like dry humping? Dry humping is great. Because it feels like scissoring, but with a guy. Mm -hmm. So like, even though it may seem weird, you know, you know what, you know what men like? Y'all love seeing a woman turned on and y'all love seeing her orgasm. Yeah, right? facts. Right? Yep. But guess yep. what? If you dry hump me, now it's almost like we're scissoring. Why do women love sex with other women? Because when your pussies bump and they all, you know, swollen and stuff like that, that little that little motion, it feels like someone like slowly licking your pussy, right? Mm -hmm. And, it, and it, it slowly drags out that orgasm versus those quick ones. Slow orgasms that like build and you like, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, you know? So when you're dry humping, you're in control. You're but it's almost like a way to scissor your guy. She's giving a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah. See?